What's up guys, and back today with another video. In this one, I'm going to be telling you about what I think is going to be the next biggest thing. Jujutsu Beatdown. So, you probably haven't heard of this yet, but basically, it's another Battlegrounds game. And you might be thinking, well, that's nothing special. But in this video, I'm going to prove you wrong. This game, it's something special. It's extremely high quality, even though it barely came it only came out a couple of days ago yeah created not days ago but only two months ago it's very high quality i suggest you check it out but enough talking let me show you about why this game is so awesome so the first feature of jujutsu kaisen is well obviously the moves and this game is very very similar to the jujutsu shenanigans as i said earlier having uh mostly characters from the anime jujutsu kaisen such as the honored one which is gojo the king of curses was shinsukuna and these other two which are early access as for most games the game has m1s for each move and uh well just normal moves that any battlegrounds game would have However, there's something that's unique about this game, and I'll show it to you. So, there's a thing called Cursed Energy. When you activate it, your hands get blue, and they shine, um, and, well, they just shine blue for a little bit. Now, see what's happening is, notice how whenever I do the move Slice, it looks like that. And then, uh, she's stuck in the floor, what the heck. The dummies are a bit weird in this game. Get out, get out, eh, whatever. Well, whenever I click the cursed energy button and then you slice like this, you can tell it's much different. Cursed energy is basically just a different version of your move. So for example, this is the move Real Jujutsu. It's a move that causes your enemy to get thrown forward and eventually slams them down like that. Now, if we just wait long enough and use the Cursed Energy version, it's going to be so much more different. And also, you saw what I just did? I did a double jump. This game has the usual. Forward dashes, side dashes, but you can also double jump, which is very interesting and cool. Now, the real Jujutsu variant. Notice how, if you go back to the where I showed you the other one, it's so much more different. This game actually has a lot of different stuff that is different than Jujutsu shenanigans, but makes it really good as well. Now, let's move on to the next thing about this game, uh, The Awakening. Now, The Awakening is but the same as almost every other Battlegrounds game. You click it, small animation plays, in this case, one of your friends gets summoned and there's a giant effect and you become red. And your moves, they become way different. Notice how that move is much more powerful than the original one. And this one is also extremely different. However, the one thing that sets this game apart from all the other ones, all the other JJK games, this one is extremely high quality. You know how the Jujutsu Kaisen version of Malevolent Shrine is literally just a shrine with a lit PNG on it? Well, take a look at this. The main expansion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you see this? You see this? Th this is extremely well made. And this is something you'd never see in a game like Jujutsu Shenanigans. This is what just makes it a bit better, really. However, I know Jujutsu Shenanigans is not really meant to be high quality, but there is a bunch of stuff about this game that I like better. The first thing is how detailed and expansive the map is. There's huge buildings all around. There's big ones and there's small ones too. There's also a little park over here, as you can see by the slide. And there's another feature that I haven't shown you yet, grinding. So basically, grinding is going on these rails, and it lets you basically ride them. See how I'm just dashing across? That's a, a new feature that 
I haven't seen in any other Roblox game. And that's actually really, really cool. But the main, fo the main feature of this game that makes it a whole lot different is Domain Clash. And I'll show that to you in a little bit. All right, everybody. So I'm gonna show you Domain Clash now. Basically what happens is two people use their domain expansions at the same exact time. For example, me and this guy Luffy over here, and the domains clash. Let me just tell him to do it. All right, three, two, one, domain expansion. This is the sickest feature of this game. Look at this, look at, the, look at these effects, man. Look at this. Half of it's my domain, half it's his. And whoever's domain wins, gets their domain to stay. For example, if he deals more damage, then his domain stays. If nobody deals any damage, it's random. So, like right now, in this extremely awesome, insane domain clash, uh, it's usually a 50% chance, and I don't know why, but Infinite Void always wins. And now I can just kill him, but he's chill, so I'm not gonna do that. Oh, nice, he sent me a friend request. Big shout out to this guy, Luffy, and huge shout out to the creators of this game, Jujutsu Beatdown, because I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the next best thing, the next biggest thing. Now, that'll be it for today. Be sure to like and subscribe, as well as leave a comment down below on what challenges you want me to do next, and I'll see you guys in the next one.